Hello everyone. In this sixth presentation of stereochemistry, we will discuss the point brumination of cis to butene and trans to butene with mechanism. It is a part of curriculum of the Gujarat University semester five. Now there are several ways in which the same question can be asked. So you can see that the list of six or seven question. But don't worry, you have to just prepare only one answer. A just little bit modification, and you can change your answer accordingly. Explanation: Explain brumination of cis to butene with mechanism. Explain brumination of trans to butene with mechanism. Brumination of cis three hexene and trans three hexene with mechanism. You can see here the structural formula of to butene. I have written methyl groups with red color. Instead of methyl groups, if you put ethyl groups, and the same structure would convert into three hexene. So just if you prepare the answer of cis to butene, and wherever there is a methyl group, just change it with the ethyl, and your answer would would convert into cis three hexene or trans three hexene. Similarly, brumination of cis and trans to butene both are examples of Stereo selective as well as stereo specific reaction. So the last two questions, if you read it, explain the mechanism of any one stereo selective reaction, or explain mechanism of any one stereo specific reaction. So out of these four question, answer of any one you can write if the question is asked in this manner. So these are the several ways in which. Questions may be asked, but don't worry. As I said, you have to prepare only one answer. So now let us discuss the answer. But before that, you should know the difference between the syn addition and anti addition. We all are familiar with the addition reactions, which is a characteristic of double and triple bonded compounds. Normally, a reagent is added where there is a triple bond or a double bond. and gradually triple bond turns into double bond and double bond turns into single bond now you can see in the figure this is a doubly bonded compound and this is one reagent with the color code yellow and green now we know that double bond doubly bonded carbons are sp2 hybrid carbons and the shape is planar so double bond is always flat and planar now here you can see that these group both yellow and green they are added to double bond from the same side from the same plane and see the double bond turns into single bond so when the reagent is added from the same side of the double bond then it is called syn addition reaction while here you can see that one group yellow group is added from the plane above the double bond and green group added from the plane below the double bond so we can say that both the groups of a reagent added from the opposite sides and such addition reaction is known as anti addition reaction now anti addition can occur in two different ways that i have shown here with the arrows if you focus on the green arrow this is from the plane above while this is from the plane below or if you focus on the red color arrow you can see that even here also to this carbon one group added from the plane above while the this group can be added from the plane below so not necessary that this is the, this can be the only product yellow group can be added to this carbon and green can be added to this also so keeping this thing in mind let us discuss brumination of cis to butene and trans to butene and always remember that both the reactions they follow anti addition reaction it means that both bromine atoms added to the double bond from the opposite side in the last video we had discussed about stereo specific reaction and stereo selective reaction and this point the slide in front of you we have already discuss whenever we carry out brumination of two butene 
it turns into 2,3 dibromobutane and these four isomers are possible. Out of which cis 2 butene always produce pair of these enantiomers while trans 2 butene on bromination always produced these meso compound 3 and 4. So these products you have to remember as we are discussing bromination of cis 2 butene and trans 2 butene. So here we go, you can see that this is a cis 2 butene when bromine added. Now as I already told you, it is anti addition. So let us assume that one bromine attached to this carbon from the plane above, then to other carbon another bromine would get attached from the plane below. You can see that this carbon is this one. One bromine added from the plane above. This one is this. And to it another bromine is added from the plane below. So you can see that the direction of bromine it is anti-addition. And this kind of pattern of writing a molecule is called Sohor's projection and beside it it's Fischer projection. Another possibility to this carbon if bromine is added from the plane below which is here in this case then to this carbon bromine will be added from the plane above. So in that case we would get the another uh, isomers. So now mathematical probability of these two is equal as a result we are getting as a product pair of enantiomers. So this is the reaction but our question is we have to discuss its mechanism. So let us discuss the mechanism. This is the just a reaction. We have to discuss mechanism also. Already I explained you both cis 2 butene bromination and trans 2 butene bromination they follow uh, anti addition. First part step of mechanism is the formation of phi complex. In first step, in the presence of pi electron of cis 2 butene, bromine molecule undergoes polarization. Electron of a covalent bond of between bromine and bromine slightly shift towards the one bromine atom. As a result, it acquires partial negative charge and another bromine atom becomes partially positive. So this is called a polarization. Now, pi electron partially attached with the electron deficient bromine plus ion and that is already attached with the Br minus. So here you can see that we are getting the intermediate called pi complex. Pi electrons are involved in its formation. That's why it is called pi complex. So even if you read the description, it will be clear. In the presence of pi electrons of 2 butene, bromine molecules molecule undergoes polarization, get attached with pi electron and form pi complex. So that is the first step of mechanism. Second step, conversion of pi complex into sigma complex. Now this is the same pi complex which we have written over here. From the pi complex, electron rich Br minus leaving in the form of nucleophile taking both the electrons of this bromine bromine bond. So here you can see that minus Br minus it is leaving, leaving with the electron pair. And this carbon donated its pi electrons to the electron deficient Br plus. So this Br get attached with this carbon. Here you can see that. Now earlier those pi electrons were the pi electrons of both these carbons. But as it is donated to both Br, so as a result the another carbon it turns electron deficient as it loses its pi electron and as a result acquire plus charge. We can also call it a carbocation. So now earlier in this intermediate it was double bond so we call it a pi complex. Now we call it a sigma complex. 
If you read the description from pi complex, bromine atom, this Br minus eliminate as nucleophile, and this carbon donated its pi electrons to the Br plus, and as a result, we are getting sigma complex and formation of carbocation also. Third step formation of cyclic bromonium ion. This is the same sigma complex which we have written in the previous slide. Yes. Always remember that these are not the separate products. They are the intermediate stages. Now in third step, this is we are having three non-bonded electron pairs which you can see here. And carbon is an electron deficient, so it is a carbocation. So this bromine atom donated one of its electron pair to this empty orbital of electron deficient carbon. Now see, cyclic formation would take place because already bromine was attached with this carbon and now forming bond with this carbon. So your, here you can see that cyclic structure is formed. Now carbon getting electron pair so becomes neutral and bromine loses its electron pair. So plus charge shift from carbon to bromine because now bromine is electron deficient. This intermediate is called cyclic bromonium ion. So if we summarize the whole thing, first bromine atom undergoes polarization in the presence of pi electron of cis 2 butene they form pi complex from the pi complex we are minus left and we are getting sigma complex from sigma complex we get cyclic bromonium ion now finally this we are minus which was left in the form of nucleophile now it again approach cyclic bromonium ion in two possible path, path A or root A and root B. Now as already I told you that this reaction follows anti-addition reaction. So as we can see that bromine is al already in the plane above. So this Br minus nucleophile approach from the plane below to either this carbon via root A or this carbon via root B. And this will also make clear that why we are getting pair of enantiomers as a product. First, let us check the root A. We are minus approaching this carbon from the plane below. It donates its electron pair, start forming bond with this carbon. Valency of four valencies of this carbon is already satisfied. It cannot form fifth one. So as it getting electron from Br minus, so it breaks this bond. So this Br getting attached with this carbon, here you can see that root A, and this bond breaks. So this Br is get attached with another carbon, which you can see over here. So we are getting this isomer if Br minus approach from root A. Another probability is root B in which we are minus again from the plane below but this time can approach it to this carbon. So forming bond with this carbon you can see that over here. In this time I have used the color code red so here this red bond breaks and as a result this Br now get attached with this carbon which you can see over here. So mathematical probability of both these is equal as a result we get here isomers, enantiomers of 2,3-dibromobutane. So now you can understand that why bromination of cis 2 butene gives pair of enantiomers as a product. Now as I told you earlier if the same question is asked for the 3-hexene then wherever there is a methyl group you should write here ethyl, ethyl here, 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 everywhere. In every slide, wherever methyl is written, 
you just change it to the ethyl and your answer would convert into 3 hexene. Bromination of transtubutene is almost similar. Only thing you should remember is the product is a different. As already we have discussed, cis-tubutene on bromination gives pair of enantiomer. Transtubutene, you can see that in a similar way, two for different possible routes A and B, it also uh, follow anti-addition and forming meso compound. So first change in the answer of cis to butene. Obviously, you have to write the structure of cis to butene. In answer of trans, you have to change the position. Otherwise, everything, all the steps are same. So, if you want to write the answer of trans, first of all, you have to change the mutual position of this H and CA3. In a similar way, bromine would get attached here. Then in this case, you will get one isomer or bromine from the plane below uh, to this carbon and from the plane above to this carbon, then you would get this isomer. But instead of enantiomer, you would get meso. Same answer. Everything is same. All the sentences. In the case of trans also, first step is a formation of pi complex. Formation of just here, you have to change the mutual position because you have to write the trans structure. But steps are same. Formation of pi complex, sigma complex and cyclic bromonium ion. And even here also, similar way you have to write the answer. So that's why I told you that there are several ways. All these are possible questions. But just you have to prepare one answer and just little bit modification into the words and structure. And you can write the, your answer according to the question asked. So I hope that uh, you get the explanation of this bromination of cis-tributing and trans-tributing.